All right, so it's Wednesday. We're six days away from the election, and already 56% turnout in St. John's County, 44% early voting turnout and vote-by-mail turnout in Duval County, where Democrats are still outpacing Republicans by about eight percentage points. The margin of the Republican lead in St. John's, Clay, and Nassau County is pretty big as well. We're digging deeper into the early voting story in our updated campaign blog. You can find that at WOKV.com, our election guide, stories from Northeast Florida, from our Washington insider, Jamie Dupree, and from resources across the country as we're now six days away from November 3rd. On the campaign trail this Wednesday, President Trump will be in Arizona, and he's got a couple of different rallies planned there after rallies uh, in Michigan and Nebraska and Wisconsin on Tuesday, and a lot of attention and focus on the campaign trail. Jamie Dupree reports on uh, both how the president is handling the coronavirus pandemic and how Joe Biden says he would handle it so differently. Biden is set to get a briefing from medical experts on coronavirus Wednesday. He's expected to then be in Broward County, Florida, Florida on Thursday. So a lot of activity still happening on the campaign trail and a lot more ground to cover over the coming days as well. Be listening for updates on 104.5 FM. Follow our campaign updates in the 104.5 WOKV app. Our weather is very warm today and will be record hot for Thursday. 90 degrees, the record of 87, set 1984, is likely to be shattered. But thankfully, there's some cooler air returned to more normal fall weather for northeast Florida by Friday. Skies will clear, the humidity will drop, and temps will only be in the 70s, which is where we ought to be for this time of the year. Halloween is looking pretty nice as well. As the kiddos head out right around sunset or so, temps will be falling from the 70s into the 60s. And it looks like we're at least mild, not necessarily hot, over the weekend. Mike Burrish is hinting at another blast of colder weather, at least cooler weather, for for northeast Florida by early next week. If we get into any sustained cooling, is updated every six minutes in the first alert forecast. And we're continuing to focus on the New Orleans, Louisiana area as Hurricane Zeta is expected to make landfall about 7 or 8 o'clock eastern time. No local impacts, but they're some travel impacts from flooding rain potential into places like Metro Atlanta and all the way up into the Ohio Valley. We're not done with the tropics either. Mike is hinting at development out of the Caribbean over the next week to two weeks. Follow his updates. Talking the tropics with Mike Burrish at WOKV.com.